Hello, and uh, welcome to another Tactical Fly Fisher on the water tutorial. We're on one of my favorite home waters here today, and I'm going to talk to you about a really common problem that I uh, see out on the water when I fish with other anglers, and something that I've learned to really address quickly uh, in my own fishing to, to improve my catch rate. And what is that? Today we're going to talk about how to get weeds and algae, etc., off your flies really quickly. Um, it's late summer today, it's September, almost fall, although it doesn't really feel like it. And uh, throughout August, especially through September on our local waters and in, you know, just across the world in late summer, you're going to have a lot of paraphyton and uh, macrophytes, other stuff growing on the bottom of the river that likes to grab your flies, especially if you're nymphing or, or fishing streamers. So, um, I know a lot of people that I've watched fish that rarely pay attention to whether they get stuff on their flies. Over time, you should be able to be pretty in tune with your nymphs to watch the way they exit the water or the way they enter or just the way they feel during the cast. Should tell you whether you've got uh, junk on your flies or not. But uh, a lot of people don't check it very often. So they end up fishing for a long period of time, not catching fish, wondering why they're not. And then they haul it in and they realize their fly is covered in weeds. Now, um, <laughs> there's a, a guide named Andy Kim from the San Juan River, rather infamous, infamous fellow that uh, I met on the Green River actually when I was fishing there oh, all the way back when I was in high school. And uh, Andy uh, used to say, at least when, when I was fishing with him that day, he would say, junk on flies, no fish. <laughs> that was his favorite saying. And really, it's true. If there's junk on your flies, even just the tiniest little bit, maybe even covering the knot or whatever, a lot of times you're not going to catch fish. So today I'm going to give you a quick tip on how you can get in the rhythm of removing that uh, junk on your flies really quick without even having to look at it. And it'll save you a lot of time and make you a lot more efficient on the river. And uh, this technique I call the San Juan slap, uh, mainly because I learned it from Andy, although I'm sure he wasn't the first one to think of it. Okay, let's show you how to do the San Juan slap then. And I do this so often that I'll even incorporate it into my back cast. If you ever watch some of the other videos that, that uh, we've done, you'll see me making a couple quick slaps and then going back to fishing, and what I'm doing is what I call the San Juan slap. But there's a couple components. Let's say I'm fishing along here, and all of a sudden I tick bottom. I could haul it in. Let's tick bottom here for a second. Okay, so I, I'm on the bottom right here. I could haul this in after I've set the hook and check it, but instead I strip up a little bit of line I strip down to near where my cider is. If you're new to this technique, you might want to strip all the way to the cider. And then I make big, wide, open circles, and I accelerate on the downstroke of the circle. And you'll see I'm just <clears throat> moving that rod in a big, wide arc around, and the direction is important here. So I've stripped up my line to my cider, and I make those circular movements, and then I'm slapping my nymph in the water and I'm making sure that I'm doing it downstream of where I'm fishing and in a direction where it's colliding with the current. So if I go downstream with my upward part of the stroke, then it goes upstream on the downward part of the stroke. And that makes it so that my fly collides with the current going in opposite ways and it helps rip the weeds and the algae off the flies better. And if I do that, and accelerate it a few times and get a nice good slap, then at least 90% of the time I can remove all the flies off or all the weeds off my fly and just go right back to fishing. So let's do that in a quick sequence for you here. I've made my cast, I'm drifting, okay I've hooked bottom, I strip up just a little bit, usually during the stroke here, I change directions, smack one, two, three, and I go right back to fishing without ever having to look at my fly. And I'm 100% confident that I've removed all that junk off my fly. And I just fish it out if it happens again, like right there. Okay, I've hooked bottom. I go bam, 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 change my direction. I'm right back to fishing. Okay, so really efficient. Common pitfalls in this though. I see a lot of people doing it upstream. Well, guess what? If you're slapping it upstream, you're doing it right over the spot where you're fishing. 
And so you're gonna spook fish if you do it that way. So do it downstream of you, away from where you're fishing, and make sure that direction is right, where your fly is colliding with the current. And then, especially if you wanna to, want to avoid tangles, which we all do, make sure you strip some of that line in. If you're Euro-nymphing, strip it until you're near the cider. If you've got a dry fly on or something like that, strip it until you've got most of your leader uh, in. Or uh, if you need a little bit of line out to accelerate, that's fine. But just make sure you don't have too much line out because if you do and you start whipping it around, it's gonna go right around your rod and you're gonna end up in a big tangle. And if you make big, wide open strokes like that, that's another way to avoid the tangle. Whereas a lot of people I see do this. And suddenly, just like that, it's wrapped up around their rod tip. You can't do that. You gotta make big, wide open strokes and then go right back to fishing and you're good to go. So, I hope this tip helps you out on the water and it makes you a little more efficient. Next time you're having problems getting weeds and junk on your flies, don't haul them in and pick, it, pick off the weeds and the, and the algae off your flies. Be smart, strip in some line, use a big wide open downstream circle and smack your flies on the water. And if you do it fast enough and collide hard enough, it's gonna strip all that junk off for you without you ever having to, to uh, pull that fly in and pick it off by hand. If you like this tip, give us a quick like on the video, subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have more of you watching and uh, enjoying the content that we put up there. And then come on over to tacticalflyfisher.com whenever you need some fly fishing or fly tying goodies and we'll be sure to get you taken care of. Thanks for watching. I can slap off. <laughs> Might be a little too much. <laughs>